Hi guys, I'm back to the river. The river slowly going down and I coming to collect my fresh gold which won river deposited this year. So remember in this area was all water to those rocks over there and now water fell down and I testing places uh, for gold, fresh gold because every year river brings a lot of gold and just you need to know where to look, how to find and how to collect that gold. So one of those ways how to collect the gold I be using today and that be black sand. Okay, this is between everywhere was water going just a month ago and uh, and it, it deposited a lot of sand with black sand and rocks and gold, main thing, gold. So right now I be showing you how I use one of my techniques to collect all gold what is in here. All those rocks between rocks. And uh, I be using black sand and magnet, okay, to collect that gold. And we will see what's happening, okay? So right now, already I work between those two cracks, got some sand, and let's start working. Okay, it's still a lot of sand in this place and gold is normally on the bottom, but who knows? I collecting all gold and visible and invisible because all gold is panable. If it's uh, gold in metallic form, it's always heavier than everything else. And I be collecting that gold all. And then I use aqua regia to recover all the gold from that sand, what I found it. No, not sand, that be just mostly gold concentrate. Okay, gold in this place is not so big, small, but I need to use classifier to make even almost the same particle size and smaller. So gold normally be smaller than all this sand, what I found it because it's a gold. Okay, and then I using regular about 80 mesh classifier from Target, okay? And that way I getting sand just like this size, okay? Okay, and now let's let's start working with real stuff. Small bucket, okay? And my magnet must be very little smaller than this bottom, okay? Then I transferring this sand and everything, not full bucket, but like half of them, okay? Okay, like this, and, and fill it up with the water. And now I try to agitate all that sand, which one? is under water and uh, try to spin it to loosen it all the material and what's happened then all black sand gold and everything goes in the bottom okay and this is a very dirty water we can throw away and add new one because always when you take that sand it's always have a lot of debris useless stuff so try to keep it level, okay? I put a magnet and suppose the magnet stick if there is enough black sand. You see the magnet gets stuck. Now I take with two hands, spin it and throw everything here. And we'll be checking that sand with the panning, we check do we something miss but normally black sand is on the bottom and all the gold if there is be underneath the black sand so that way magnet keeps the black sand on the uh, on this bucket in the bottom and uh, don't let gold go away 
sand because it's on the top of the black sand and it goes away when I put it all everything in here. I transfer that you see in the middle magnet holds that sand and gold is in the center somewhere and holds that magnet holds the black sand and black sand holds the gold. That way we save for that because we don't losing gold. Gold is always on the bottom. Here we got the, that sand what we threw away. Until I started seeing the black sand everywhere. Okay. And then I work slowly, try to recover all sand out. Because when you do without magnet, all sand you see is going on the surface. Then we nicely wash that sand out and leaving just black sand. Black sand in this situation is a good friend for us because it helps to recover the gold. Gold is always on the bottom of this black sand and washing on the top what we like we do like this all uh, heavy material goes on the bottom and pushing out the sand you see the sand on the surface okay and then i wash out that sand it don't worry about gold gold is not going nowhere it's sitting underneath that black sand and if there is gold it's yours it's no no way to go so washing till your sand becomes black sand like no more sand okay where is that can't even see the sun so bright you see the black sand and no more sand inside so now we take a magnet and try to recover all that sand black sand stick it to our magnet so I'm using magnet to recover that black sand from this plate and I don't put it on the top. I, I lightly spin the uh, water and the sand starts swimming and then it sticks to magnet. And that way I'm not catching any gold. Okay, and now what's left supposed to be uh, any heavy material uh, if there is gold. There be just gold. Save that all sand in the bottle. Okay. I, I look in the microscope. I see microscopic gold, but no big visible gold. So it's okay. I use aqua regia. So I collect all this sand and there be, looks like no gold. Nobody sees that. But when you look in microscope, you can see the gold. All very, very small gold. So I collecting all this. Right now we'll be working on this bucket sand. Okay, we're here. So we adding some water and again put the do spinning and try to collect all this black sand from here. I did doing spinning. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I'm not putting on the bottom of that gold. You see, all black sand sticks to magnet and gold maybe is not catches here. So, okay, everything is on the magnet. So now, transit the big pan. And here we supposed to have a gold, if there is gold, I don't know, but this is my technique. You just want to use it, no want do your way. Everybody need to find a way to pan it and everything. So now I have a sand, which one is a little bit more potential for the gold. Okay, let me go pan it. What that supposed to have a little bit more gold and have one over here, one over here, one over here, visible gold. And one over here, and a lot of invisible gold in this place. Okay? It's so small, it looks like when you're looking in that gold, this looks like brown, brown pieces, but when you look in microscope, you will see the gold color. So that way, 
I collecting my gold. And right now I collecting this sand and putting in my bottle, which one I be taking home. And uh, you see the black, yellow? Yellow you can see right away shines. Okay, what there. And, and, and here is a lot more. But I can't show you, it's visible, but which is I and this sun, I can't even see nothing here. Okay, so I collecting the sand again, putting in my bottle, everything. And we go pan again. Then when you collect all the black sand with the magnet, you have just some kind of little bit heavy material on the bottom and you can easy to pan it and see the gold, but always keep minimum of water because the gold is very small and runs away, okay? But this is mostly, is in California, mostly microscopic gold. So I collecting everything here and I don't see any visible again. So no, yeah, is one, one little piece, okay? See this one? This is what our gold. So, if you have a right tool to recover this kind of sand, you need to make some vi vibrating table or something. All that microscopic gold goes down in the bottom and then you use the magnet to take all the uh, magnetic material out and you can collect this gold on the bottom and that a lot of microscopic gold you don't even see here. Okay, so I just showing you, I'm not panning for gold, but uh, I just try to show you, uh, so you understand how this stuff works. Okay, how to recover that gold. Okay, now I be transferring all this material to my bottle and I continue. Hey, maybe go over there, a little bit better place. There are bigger gold pieces. Too much water, need to throw away. Just try to keep it minimum because all the particles is small. If you have a little bit more water, they wash us out. Now I can see right away on the sun, I can see the gold. I, I, I see the gold underneath that black sand. There's some kind of black sand stays and it's heavy too. But there is, it's like at least 100 pieces of microscopic gold, which one you can recover the, using just aqua regia, okay? So let me go to next place. Came from over there, came here, and I see a lot of black sand, but I don't play with the black sand. I want to play with this one's gravel, because where is the gravel? Normally gold stays, and everywhere this is, was uh, vortex when was underneath the water uh, all gold supposed to be here in the bottom so right now I be taking some samples and checking for gold and if everything is gold worth taking I be working here take a lot of gold if there is gold okay so after I need to go over there too so we will see. I see the black sand underneath with the gravel, mixed with the gravel, the gold is too, okay? So let me start new, working. New place, and I see little, little specks of gold over here. Very little, but main gold is in microscopic form over here you see main gold is here but you can see easy with eyes okay without lupa or microscope you don't see this gold but this is a lot of gold a lot more than i see right now okay so let's go continue panning i check this place and i found a lot of microscopic gold visible gold is very little but microscopic gold is mostly here. So that kind of gold, normally nobody collects, but I 
collecting and I right now be using different technique I use this bucket to recover that gold without do nothing just put it in and go pan it okay all gold goes in the bottom black sand covers that and then I just collect that black sand and gold is on the surface so no need to dig so deep because this is what's floated and all the gold is on the top of this uh, sand there is some kind of sand on the bottom so this way I collect a little bit half a bucket at least in a bucket of this tray and then I go pan it with two hands uh, shake it well uh, and you get all the gold in the bottom and then you work with that bottom part use magnet and everything else okay so halfway is enough right now i go wash okay. things god sun went down a little bit so now i can feel better <laughs> i finished my bottle all water so you know and the sun is very hard to work and do something but what i can say this is a lot of small microscopic gold is a lot guys and this worth working you just need to figure out how to recover that gold that's it and i i try to work on that and uh, looks like it's okay i'm making concentrates i'm not panning gold the way that gold because it's all, almost impossible to recover that gold because it's very small but sometimes you see sometimes you see the a lot of gold you see sometimes like this some pants so <laughs> I don't know and if you look in microscope in this this sand is full of gold too microscopic pieces so you can't even recover that easy okay but i believe me it's a lot of gold still in the rivers just need to figure out how to recover that gold okay and when you're getting pan like this you're happy because this is a lot of gold can compare with uh, everything else so far i have collected like this much So far I collected this much of concentrate. It's not a lot, but this is concentrate with microscopic gold. And this is pan so far is the richest one. And I got it from this hole over here. Okay? So there is a lot of places to dig it in. So I be coming a few more times in this place and try to recover all the gold what I can get. Okay? So I continue in the same hole because here I got a lot of gold. There's still a lot of sand. And I try to recover everything what I can. It'd be good to have like some kind of wet vacuum to suck the stuff. We put water, suck everything. And that way I classify. Okay, continue. Try to recover that gold. Main thing is I working for microscopic gold. Then that visible, I'm not expecting to see. But <laughs> if I get that one, I'm happy. I take everything. Okay, so having fun. And the river is still dangerous. So, okay, you got the picture. I go to work. One more. You see the gold everywhere, especially microscopic. You don't see that gold. Where, like here, look, the smaller pieces, 
Uh, there is a lot of microscopic gold right here everywhere. You see these things? All this. And not even smaller pieces. I can't even show you. But there is gold. This is this year's gold is fresh. Came from somewhere. I don't know where. But I just testing, ex experimenting with this gold. So I don't care how much I get it. Uh, but uh, this is second from that hole. There is still more sand, but I today maybe don't do nothing because I need to go home. I need to drink the water. So I just tan it, everything what I collected. This is in maybe one hour time. I don't know how much gold is in this microscopic place, but this is visible gold. And how much invisible gold? We will see after when I do aqua regia. Okay?